Metallic Nanoparticles for Water Treatment Application, Biosynthesis Characterization and their Catalytic Activity Evaluation. In the present work, the use of sargassum extract is reported to carry out the synthesis of gold and silver nanoparticles. The algae, whose overpopulation has brought serious environmental and economic problems, was collected from the coast of the Mexican Caribbean. First, sargassum, which consists of fruit and sanatan species, is collected in Puerto Morelos, Quintana Roo. It's washed by several times to remove dirt and sand. Then, the sargassum is dried in the shade for a week and stored under refrigeration for later use. The extract is preparation by infusion method, mixing 2 grams of sargassum with 100 milliliters of the solvent. This mixture is placed at 60 degrees Celsius on the magnetic steering for 30 minutes. The mixture is filtered and stored. The synthesis of the nanoparticles is carried out by mixing the precursor salt with the extract, in this case, silver nitrate and chlorouric acid were used at 10 millimolar. The volumetric relationship between salt and extract was evaluated. The reaction proceeded for one day and subsequently the samples were analyzed by UVB spectroscopy, X-ray diffraction, FTIR spectroscopy and scanning electron microscopy. Finally, the catalytic activity of the obtained silver and gold nanoparticles was evaluated by the degradation of methyl in blue, methyl orange, and methyl red. The UVB results of the silver and gold nanoparticles show that the extract based on water and ethanol is the most appropriate to synthesize the nanoparticles. In both cases, the presence of the absorption band is observed. For silver, it's at 432 nanometers, and for gold, at 560 nanometers, suggesting the formation of nanoparticles. The spectra corresponding to the use of the aqueous extract and the ethanolic extract do not show an absorption band, indicating the absence of nanoparticles. The UVB's analysis using different volume ratios of extract precursor salt shows variation in intensity, positions, and width of the band corresponding to the nanoparticles. In the case of silver, the one-to-one -one ratio shows the best characteristic signs, although it's not the most intense, it's found at a shorter wavelength and is narrower, suggesting the presence of smaller homogeneous nanoparticles. In the case of gold nanoparticles, the spectrum corresponding to the 2 to 1 ratio showed the best characteristic because presents an intense and narrow band located at 533 nanometers. Therefore, the samples were selected to carry out the subsequent characterization and evaluation of the catalytic properties of the nanoparticles. X-ray diffraction analysis confirmed the presence of silver and gold, respectively, as the only crystal phase present in the samples. The reflections shown were indexed with phases corresponding to silver and gold with FCC structure. The morphology and size of the nanoparticles was determined by scanning electron microscopy, in both cases, a quasi-spherical morphology is observed. In the case of silver nanoparticles, their size is between 20 and 50 nanometers, while the size of gold nanoparticles is between 15 and 30 nanometers. In the micrographs, a layer surrounding the nanoparticles can be observed, which corresponds to the organic phase from the sargassum that is stabilizing the nanoparticles. Finally, the FTIR results are similar for silver and gold nanoparticles. Changes in chemical bond signals suggest that the reduction and stabilization is due to the phenolic compounds from sargassum. On the other hand, the catalytic activity of the gold and silver nanoparticles was evaluated through the degradation of organic dyes. 
The results show the ability of the nanoparticles to degrade methyl in blue, methyl orange, and methyl red. The degradation rate was different depending on the nature of each day. The simples was methyl in blue, and methyl red was the most difficult to degrade. When silver nanoparticles were used, methyl in blue, methyl red, and methyl orange degrade in 5, 11, and 10 minutes. Gold nanoparticles show great catalytic activity, since the degradation times were 3, 8, and 6 minutes for the same organic dyes. Therefore, the result demonstrates the ability of sargassum extract to synthesize silver and gold nanoparticles, which can be used in water treatment for the degradation of toxic substances such as organic dyes in an efficient and environmental friendly way, and at the same time taking advantage of sargassum.